Hey guys, I just want to make a quick video today on why I chose the Glock 43X MOS as my preferred EDC pistol. Um, carry this thing every day. I have been for probably, I don't know, two months. I've carried it off and on before, um, but I've carried it, yeah, literally every day for probably the last two or three months. And I just want to talk quick about why um, I chose this over a few other um, guns I've tried. And yeah, I know I say quick and I'm never quick, but here we are. So main reason for this is size. I am a larger male, um, but this thing conceals better than a 19 or like any compact size gun for me. Um, and that is probably the biggest factor is just the size. It's compact, you know, subcompact, I guess is what they call it. Um, but I can still get a full grip on this and that makes a big difference. So my other carry gun <clears throat> that I still carry sometimes and what I did before is a 365 XL and I really like that gun and I still do carry it from time to time but um, and actually I carry it for the same reason because I can get a full grip. Um, the biggest difference and I'll go ahead and jump into why I carry this over the 365 XL is these mags. Shield arms, yeah, I don't know if they might have patented it by now. But shield arms, 15 round mags. Um, this little guy, you know, thin, super light. Who oh, handed to clean that? Thin, super light, um, carries 15 plus one. And <clears throat> that is like insane that this little guy carries 15 plus one. You know, same as a Glock 19 uh, with standard mags. That was a game changer for me and the biggest reason why I continue carrying this. Um, it is thinner to me, um, than the 43X in hand. I don't know what the actual specs are, but it feels thinner and it feels better to carry or, uh, better to hold. And it actually does feel better to carry. It feels like it's, I don't know, it just carries a little bit better. And even if I had, I b had both of these and originally in a black arch holster, um, I had a black arch holster, same Revcon, I think is what's called for both. And this just carries a little bit better, but being able to have 15 rounds plus 15 plus one over the 365 XL has 12 plus one in the standard mag. Like having those extra three rounds to me um, is a relatively big deal. And then on top of this gun, you know, feeling better in hand and just feeling better to carry, it, it just feels all around those three things were a big thing for me. The one downside to this, I feel, um, over the 365 XL is I feel like I shoot the 365 XL a little bit better than this only because I'm used to the trigger on that more and just I don't I don't I only have one hand but I promise this thing doesn't have a round in it there's my round that sits in it and there's the 15 but just the trigger pull I don't know I the 365 XL works better for me um, with the flat face trigger and it just takes a little bit less pressure granted I've gotten a ton better at shooting this um, just through practice and I probably you know I put another two three hundred rounds there I'll probably feel just as confident with this um, but that's really the only downside to this you know for me versus the 365 365 XL but everything else on this to me is better um, at least in this configuration if you're keep comparing both of these stock to stock and if even if you're you know if you're looking at buying either this or the 365 XL the only thing I have to say is I do not like Glock sights uh, stock sights. The 365 XL sights I love and actually this red dot used to be on my 365 XL but I actually shot better with the iron sights you know standard iron sights than I did with the red dot so I took it back off and I ever since I carried that gun um, I always just carried it with the stock irons but I hate stock Glock sights and I bought the MOS specifically for being able to put this red dot on. Um, this is a Hollow Sun 507K and you actually, this, this slide is made for shield arms. I think it's shield arms, not shield arms. Some companies, uh, RMSC, I think is maybe what it is. I don't remember. It's, it's not milled for a 507K, but you can get this little adapter plate or spacer plate. Um, I think it was 40 bucks. I'll link it in the description because I, I don't remember who makes it. It's been so long, but, um, yeah, you can just throw whatever red dot on here with the correct plate. Um, and I bought this, I bought the MOS specifically for the red dot because I knew I hated Glock sights and I've never looked back. Um, and then obviously I've got the TLR7 sub um, made for the 43X MOS. 
yeah, I mean, I've never looked back. This thing is super cool, good looking, you know, super good looking. And then, uh, you know, you've got, this is a traditional, traditions arms, traditional arms, I don't remember. Um, Louis V holster, this is what I've been carrying it in. And because I always carry with a light and there's not many people, well, in the, at the time, there wasn't a ton of people making light bearing holsters um, for the 43X MOS. But uh, yeah, and I have to carry light and these guys did. So I've been rocking this for a little bit. Um, I'm trying to think, is there any cons to this other than the trigger? No, I think that's it. I think the trigger is the only con for me. Um, but yeah, pros are, can mount a red dot. Um, you can get the, uh, I think a few companies by now probably make, I got this a while ago, whenever the MOS had just recently came out. So there wasn't a ton of aftermarket support at first, but it's Glock, so everybody jumps on the wagon. Um, so you can get a few different companies' lights, you know, if you're not a Streamlight fan, if you're whoever else, Surefire, uh, Olight, if you want to have an Olight on your gun for whatever reason. Um, yeah, I don't know, I just, I like the aftermarket capability of this thing, and then, like I said in the beginning, these mags, 15 rounds in this tiny little package, incredible. Like, that makes so much of a difference. Um, so yeah, this is just a quick video I wanted to put out on, you know, I'm, this is not going to be a ton of gun videos on this channel, but uh, yeah, this is just a quick video I wanted to put out just showcasing, you know, what I carry, why I carry it. Um, you know, when I was looking at carry, like buying my first carry gun, my first carry gun was actually CZ, CZ P10C, um, and then I went to a Glock 19 and then ended up on a 365 XL and then this. Um, I felt like it was when I was looking for a carry gun, it was just nice to have a bunch of different opinions, you know, because everybody's carry gun is very specific to them and everybody has different opinions, you know, and pros and cons. A bunch of people will probably not care at all about this trigger versus the 365 XL. I'm sure when I watch videos on these, a lot of people don't care about a Glock trigger. They're like, oh, you shot a Glock, you're good. You'll love this trigger. Um, a lot of people love the 365 XL trigger. And quick note about that. I hated that trigger at first, and then I got 500 rounds through it, and it was the best shooting pistol I'd ever had, as far as, you know, between me and the pistol. I was fantastic with that pistol. Um, so, I feel like if you're looking for your first carry pistol, you know, you just got your concealed, or, you know, whatever state you live in, I don't know. If you're looking for your first carry pistol, I would highly recommend this, but what I would even more highly recommend is go to the range and shoot a bunch of pistols, because if you have smaller hands than me, you might not need the 43X, you know, if you don't care about the capacity or whatever. You can get, like, a Hellcat Pro uh, or just Hellcat, whatever it is. Um, you could probably get the normal 365, you know, maybe not the XL. You can get, there's a ton of different options. So, I heard the same thing in everybody else's video, um, and I'm going to put it in mind, too. Go to the range and shoot a bunch of guns, or, you know, you can, you can do like me and end up buying three or four different ones and try them out individually. But, uh, yeah, so... Go to the range, shoot a bunch of guns, then figure out what you want. And then, you know, if you want to customize, get the MOS if you're in the Glock world, you know, for the most part, or figure out if you can get it sent out or whatever, uh, you know, for a, I don't remember what they call it, I guess a slide cut um, or optic cut. But yeah, this has been rambling the last three minutes of this. So I think we're going to wrap this up because I've pretty much got across all my points. So yeah, go out. Shoot a bunch of guns, figure out which one you want. Don't listen to some guy on YouTube tell you why you should have this gun or over that gun. But, um, yeah, these are the reasons why I carry this package. Here, we'll put this in here, too. This is the reasons why I carry this package, um, the 43X MOS. So, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.